Welcome to the new interface of Cisco Finesse, the next generation supervisor desktop. In this video, we are going to look at a supervisor's desktop experience when using the new Finesse interface. Please note that while the screens and actions depicted in this video have been captured on a UCCE 12.0 environment, the same concepts hold good for PCCE, UCCX, and HCS environments, barring few changes with respect to reports and data elements. Now enter your login credentials. The first thing that you will notice is the left navigation bar, and your company's name and logo. If you have moved from an earlier version of Finesse, you will now observe that all the tabs which were arranged on the top horizontally, have been moved to the left navigation bar. You will also observe that there are icons associated with these tabs. By default, the left navigation bar is pinned. You can unpin the left navigation bar, if you choose to view more information across the desktop screen. Use the Team Performance Gadget to view the agents on each of your assigned teams. Simply select the team from the drop-down list, and the list of agents with their current state, time in the state, extension, and the actions tab appears. To monitor an agent, or to change his state, or sign out, select an agent from the corresponding row, and click the ellipse under the actions tab, an agent must be in a not ready, or talking state if you wish to monitor his call. You can monitor only one agent at a time. From the Actions tab of a selected agent, click the ellipse and choose Monitor. The silent monitor call appears on the desktop with the Hold, Barge In, and End buttons enabled. Also, note that the Time and State field refreshes every 10 seconds. When the agent state is changed, the timer resets to zero. You can view the active call details of an agent, in your assigned team from the actions tab of a selected agent. You can see the number of active and held participants in the call, call duration, call status, and the queue name to which the customer belongs. You can also view customer details based on the popover variables configured. You can change an agent's state from the team performance gadget. From the actions tab of the selected agent, click the ellipse and you can choose to force the agent state to ready, not ready, or sign out the agent. Use the same actions tab to view the recent call history and recent state history of an agent in your assigned team. While looking at the call history and state history of an agent, you can also choose to monitor the agent. You can compose and send team messages to one or multiple teams. These messages appear as a banner across the desktop and agents can view the messages in real time. Click on the team message icon on your desktop, type your message in the compose message box. Select the team or teams by checking the checkbox next to the team name. Set an expiry time for the message to be displayed and click send. In this case, Rick is sending a team message regarding the high call volume. He then follows it up with another team message after 15 minutes. You can view the latest messages sent by clicking Show Recent Messages. If you wish to delete a previously sent team message, check the checkbox next to the message. Click Delete, and confirm the deletion. The message is removed from active display, and the previous non-expired team message, will become the active message for the agent. If Finesse Desktop Chat has been configured for your contact center, you can engage in a chat session with an agent, and thereby coach, mentor, or assist an agent. In this scenario, the agent Sandra, who is on an active call with the customer, has reached out to Supervisor Rick for guidance. And Rick is assisting Sandra. In another scenario, Rick observes that agent Josh has been on the call for quite a long time. And hence, is checking with Josh if he needs any help. Clicking on the drop-down next to the user profile icon, will display your name, role, and your extension. You can sign out of the desktop application by clicking on sign out, and selecting one of the listed reasons.